someday, a long, long, long time ago, a bunch of guys were uh, hunting uh, in the forest. They they literally they got some rabbits and fish, and they just uh, sat around the fire and they started barbecuing everything. And out of nowhere, they heard this crazy loud sound saying, "Rain Knights! What is your profession?" <laughs> Hey, my name is Jordan. I'm from Jordan, and you are watching the Jordan Show. Today we have yet another video from uh, Dark Matter 2525 with the title "If Atheists Went to Heaven." Uh, I'd like to thank Matty Man for sponsoring this video and many other videos through the Steam Labs link in the description down below. If you want to request a video, you can use that link in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and yeah, let's start the video. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. And there will come t there will come a time when God seeks out his follow Hathens. Glory awaits them in the heights of the kingdom. Lord, oh God Almighty, you are my rock and you are my hard place. Amen. Well, I didn't realize that they don't have all the time. They're not as kind of Giving you all the glory, God. Giving you all the glory, God. Praise the Lord. I, I love, love you, God. God. Would you people please just shut the fuck up? Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> God here looks exactly like the dude, you know, from uh, the movie. I don't know what's the movie called. You know that the dude who only just wants uh, his carpet ba back or something like that. It's all you ever do is praise and worship, praise and worship. What the fuck makes you think that all I want to hear for all of eternity is your ass kissing? I'm sick of it. I mean, what makes you people think that I'm so insecure that I need this stream of compliments constantly bombarding me? Actually, God, it's the Bible. The, the Bible makes you seem pretty insecure. Well, well... <laughs> Jeffrey's awesome. I'm going to that once and for all. Good. People, I've got something to say, and it might not be easy for you to hear, but I'm an atheist. <laughs> I'm an atheist. You know what, Dad? I'm proud of you. Thank you, Jeffrey. And from now on, only atheists are allowed in heaven. And all you fucking people can just burn in hell. No. <laughs> oh my god. This oh, is awesome. No, Dad. What the fuck?
What is this? This is YouTube long, long, long time ago. So how old is this video? This is a really weird situation. Is this even YouTube? Wow. YouTube, YouTube in 2010 was really weird. I don't remember it. Is this the amazing atheist? At least he looks like him. <laughs> Just out of nowhere, it's like you know what? You guys should go to <laughs> to heaven. What's oh, God? You got it to be exists. kidding! It's, it's real? No way! This is a no bad shit. dream. Wow, there really are streets of gold. Hey, look a quarter! Holy shit! This is. <laughs> Who the fuck am I? That's for real. These wings. Sweet, merciful zombie screw. Okay. Who spiked my drink? My fellow atheists, welcome to heaven. If this is heaven, why is nobody being tickled? Hmm. This is not, <laughs> not my idea of heaven. So where are all the metal babes? You mean we have to spend an eternity with Brock Lawley? Sean, you... <laughs> This is really... <laughs> oh my god. I love this so much. I love this in so many ways. Damn free eternity with Mormons. With Tony fucking Blair. An eternity with Jerry Falwell. Great. I have to spend forever with Timothy McVeigh and David Koresh. I want to spend eternity with Together for Peace. I couldn't even kill myself to get out of this. An eternity with Bill <laughs> Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Well, fuck me with a carrot. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> God, I'm still like a, chi a child when it comes to these jokes, you know, fuck me with a carrot. <laughs> Relax. I sent all those brown nosers to hell. From now on, it's just us heathens. I got a big party planned. Jeffrey, what's on the itinerary? Uh, let's see, this week it's the party, and next Thursday, we start 100,000 years of volleyball. Hey, volleyball! I love volleyball! <laughs> Naked volleyball? I like that. Hey, hey, guys, anyone know who the short dude is with the wings and the... <laughs> Everybody's asking about Jeffrey all the time. Yet they don't know Jeffrey is the real deal, you know? Jeffrey is the real deal. It's kind of hard. So, wait, wait a second, Doug. Go back for a second. I missed something. H how am I supposed to enjoy heaven with all those people suffering in hell? Yeah, you know, what kind of a sick bastard could enjoy heaven with people burning in hell? Exactly. I'm really not comfortable with you burning anybody, let alone billions. I, I mean, there must be billions down there, God. That's right. Yes, and how exactly is it fair to... <laughs> uh, this already... <laughs> ...receive infinite punishment for a finite transgression. Aren't you supposed to be fair? Damn Skippy. Yeah, God, infinite punishment is infinitely unjust. Why, why are the only two options eternal bliss or eternal torment? Wouldn't it be fair to have some kind of middle ground for people who aren't that bad? Indeed. Yeah, hurting people for bajillions of years? I mean, come on, what's the point? If that's divine justice, I'm a little girl with pigtails called Emily. Well, if you absolutely have to punish them, maybe you should have them experience all the wrongs they've ever done to others, and then their punishment would end. I concur. Hmm. God, I'm not really with them. Maybe you could, like, you know, plug me <laughs> back into the Matrix or whatever. <laughs> o only this time make me famous. Aha! At last we see the real Azrianok. I knew it. I fucking knew he pulled something like this. Mm-hmm. I'll have you know, I talked to Lucifer about the market value of my soul, and she... <laughs> oh, my God. Is he, like, making fun of one atheist, of an other atheist YouTuber or something? I have no idea who any of these he was guys are. to at least give me sexy filth thing. Right. Okay, sexy Phil, sexy Phil is the only one I know, which is now 3D, 
uh, and yeah, these guys are really old. This is like you know YouTube at its beginning. Are you serious? Here? This guy created everything. I mean, he's so stupid. Like. <laughs> Yeah, but you're God. I think I think you could do better than that. I think you could at least get me like Pope status. Pope status. Pope goes the weasel. God, fuck you for burning those people. Fuck me for burning people. Look, Doctor, I sacrificed my son. No, a single crucifixion is not the same as burning forever. You didn't sacrifice Jesus by burning him forever. So why are everybody else subject to that fate? Look, I'm not burning anybody. They put themselves there. It's called sin, people. Bullshit. You created the devil. You created hell. And you created everyone who went there, knowing ahead of time that they would burn. Indeed. Yahweh, why didn't you provide some evidence, some reason to believe you exist? What's the point in hiding? Right. Wouldn't you... Seriously, if you exist, come on, just say something. Tell me something. I don't know. Why do I have to just keep thinking about this all the time? Like, you know, like, you know, if, like, you know, if God, uh, you know, is like, you know, on the phone, you just like, t you know, you call him, uh, like, on a free number, like, hey, God, what's going on, man? How you doing? You know, I did this and that, and I want to, you know, it's, that would be really cool. But, you know, if somebody is, like, hiding, you know, yeah, you know, like, there is a God, but he's, you know, he, he, you can't see him, you can't feel him, you can't understand him. You know, in, in, in Islam, it's like they tell you, can't, your brain can't comprehend how big he is. What the, what, what's the meaning of that? You've made more of an impression on your followers if you were evidently real and obviously present, so that your words wouldn't be altered, manipulated, and corrupted through political editing and mistranslation? Exactly. Why would you have unreasonable gullibility as your only criteria for redemption? Yeah, you know, you didn't think hiding yourself was so important during biblical times. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you were just jumping around like an <laughs> like an asshole. <laughs> Look, showing myself would affect free will. Uh, no, don't you stop it. Free will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free will. <laughs> this is awesome. You know, like I would never understand that. You know, they tell you what. You know, everything is written before. Like, God written everything before. Like, before uh, life existed for everybody. And whatever happens to you, it, like, it's just God's will. Okay? But, you have free will. What the fuck? What's the meaning of that? There's absolutely no... no oh my God, there's absolutely no evidence of... I don't know what to say, you know? Like, are you fucking kidding me? So you conceal every hint of yourself from any possible detection, and you put up an impressive smokescreen in the form of an obvious, elegant, unified, and seemingly accurate natural explanation for everything you secretly did. But if we didn't find your set of primitive, perverse, and frankly unbelievable fairy tales convincing enough to discard reason and disregard everything we know about anything at all, then you were going to punish us forever, without mercy, for eternity, on the crime of not being stupid enough to believe impossible. <laughs> this is Nonsense awesome. For no good reason. <laughs> Going out and off. I'm in. I guess the Lord <laughs> works in delirious ways. Here, here. Look. Oh, shiny one. The bottom line is we can't have a relationship with someone who has people tortured or has the power to instantly stop people being tortured but simply chooses <coughs> not to. There you go. You got it now. Not even for. Monopoly? Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't love Monopoly? I can't deal with this shit. I've got fifty thousand years of Monopoly planned for after volleyball. <laughs> so it's all about your own selfish happiness and to hell with everyone else, literally. Yeah. Uh. uh well, I, actually. Uh. uh. He's starting. To He's gonna send them to hell 100%. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, Jeffrey, I think I could use a little help here. Oh, absolutely. I'm right here. Happy to help. No, no, Azure, not. <laughs> not you. The other Jeffrey. 
<laughs> Thank God. I was thinking, you know, oh. I could really <laughs> do a great job as your right-hand man, your, your brand new Jeffrey. Uh. I know when you're ready to retire, you need somebody to look after things, you know, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? I think who no is this guy? Shame. Uh, fine, Azure Knock. Just, just help me make these atheists a little more immoral. Can't believe it, a complete douchebag created the unit. <laughs> complete douchebag created the universe. <laughs> Who's up for Monopoly? I call Banker. Go. Oh, oh Crocodile. Oh, look. Azunok's got a tiny, tiny little wee wee. Hip it does hop. As Phil forced me to do it, I swear. He can't use that. No, he can't use that. So. You have to cut that out. <laughs> Yeah, that was brilliant. Uh, that was really brilliant. Uh, I don't know what to say about this, you know, when you think about it, uh, that's exactly my first point. You know, like, uh, like the first idea I had when I was a little, little child still, about, you know, heaven and hell. Like, you know, if you do things, good things, you go to heaven, and if you do bad things, you go to hell. Like, I, I'm thinking, you know, like, why would you do that? Like, it, it's just, it feels so cheesy and so weird that even if I am, like, from inside, maybe like fucking evil, like a really evil person, but I do all the good things to go to heaven, wouldn't that be like, just, what do you call it? Cheating? <laughs> I don't know, like, I like, like I, I'm not gonna change myself from inside. I'll end up in hell, uh, you know, whatever I do. Like, this is how I think about it. And I, I hate it, like, you know, the, the, the motivation, the, the positive motivation we have, which is really fucking cheesy. Or, like, you know, uh, they tell you there's, like, rivers of uh, alcohol, rivers of literally wine and honey, because they like these things back then. And you, you will get uh, unlimited sexual partners and all these things. And, like, there's no moral like motivation when it comes to that every like all the motivation you have is immoral uh, like, and it's not not immoral like uh, material all right so I, I, I don't know like, it, it just felt very materialized since I was like you know a little kid still and I, I thank God I never you know see thank God because we are just oppressed under this thank the universe that I just kept my brain together and uh, through education, through uh, in the internet, I actually got out of this crazy <coughs> situation. Anywho, uh, I love you guys very much. If you're new here to this channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you don't like it, that dislike button is for you. Tell me what you think about the whole idea of heaven and hell in the comments down below. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I'm business guy Jordan, you know, hence the glasses, the hat, and the formal kind of sitting. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. So, I'm the business guy Jordan. Uh, I'm here to tell you, please guys, support this channel. Let's keep it alive. You know, there's the stream that link in the description down below. There's the Patreon thingy. Go ahead and support this channel. Let's keep doing the good work. That's it. Uh, that was not that. Mm. That was not that professional, right? I know. I'm, I'm business guy Jordan. See you guys in the next one. That's my best friend.